Inspired Moon Presents, Nurses That Kill, Serial Killers in White, Chapter 41, Niels Hogel. Niels Hogel. In the sterile, fluorescent lit halls of German hospitals, where trust was implicit and safety a given, a predator lurked in plain sight. Niels Hogel, a seemingly dedicated and competent nurse, had begun his career in 1999 at the Oldenburg Clinic. He was enthusiastic, often going above and beyond in his duties, earning the admiration of his colleagues. Yet, beneath this facade of professionalism and care, he harbored a dark compulsion that would turn the sanctity of healthcare into a harrowing nightmare. Early in his tenure, a disturbing pattern began to emerge. Patients under Hogel's care frequently suffered sudden and unexplained declines in health. While some colleagues noticed the anomalies, attributing them to bad luck or coincidence, the true nature of Hogel's actions remained concealed. His method was both cunning and horrifying, he administered lethal doses of heart medications such as potassium chloride and agmaline, drugs capable of inducing severe cardiac arrest and life-threatening arrhythmias. Hogel's motive was as twisted as his actions. After plunging his patients into critical conditions, he would then attempt to resuscitate them, positioning himself as a hero trying desperately to save lives. This charade fed his narcissistic need for attention and validation, as his colleagues often praised his apparent skill and dedication in these life and death situations. Unbeknownst to them, the crises he resolved were of his own making. In 2005, Hogel's macabre game began to unravel. A colleague observed him injecting a patient with an unprescribed medication, leading to the patient's sudden cardiac arrest. This incident finally brought Hogel's actions to light, and he was promptly arrested. The initial investigation led to his 2008 conviction for attempted murder, resulting in a 7.5-year prison sentence. This, however, was just the tip of the iceberg. While Hogel was incarcerated, the true extent of his crimes started to emerge. Between 2014 and 2015, investigators exhumed numerous bodies of patients who had died under suspicious circumstances during Hogel's shifts. Autopsies revealed traces of the drugs he had used, confirming foul play. Detailed reviews of medical records showed a pattern of unexplained deaths correlating precisely with his work schedule. The subsequent trials were unprecedented in scale. In 2015, Hogel was convicted of two murders and two attempted murders, receiving a life sentence. However, the investigation continued, revealing a far more extensive and horrifying scope. By 2017, the full breadth of his killing spree was becoming clear. A comprehensive trial between 2017 and 2019 resulted in Hogel being found guilty of 85 additional murders. The courtroom was filled with hundreds of witnesses, expert testimonies, and grieving families, each detail more shocking than the last. As the investigation delved deeper, it became evident that systemic failures had allowed Hogel's killing spree to continue unchecked for so long. Hospitals had failed to act on early warning signs, such as the unusually high number of deaths during Hogel's shifts and suspicious patterns in medication usage. Some hospital administrators faced legal consequences for their negligence, highlighting the critical lapses in hospital management and oversight. The cultural and systemic issues within the healthcare facilities were glaring. A lack of effective monitoring and reporting systems, insufficient drug inventory controls, and a tendency to under-report or ignore concerns created an environment where Hogel could operate with impunity. The healthcare system was forced to confront its failures and implement significant reforms to prevent such a tragedy from happening again. In the aftermath of the trials, the German healthcare system underwent major overhauls. Stricter protocols for drug administration, patient monitoring, and incident reporting were introduced. Hospitals implemented more robust surveillance and auditing systems, and medical education programs began to emphasize ethical practices and the importance of whistleblowing. Awareness campaigns were launched to encourage healthcare workers to report suspicious behavior, ensuring that these reports would be taken seriously and investigated thoroughly. Niels Hogel's psychological profile became a subject of intense study. Experts suggested that his actions were driven by a combination of narcissistic traits and a pathological need for attention and admiration. He derived gratification from the chaos he created and the subsequent recognition he received for his resuscitation efforts. Understanding his motives helped in developing better preventive measures and psychological screening processes in healthcare settings. 
The case of Niels Hogel left an indelible scar on the medical world, serving as a chilling reminder of the potential for catastrophic abuse within trusted professions. Restoring public trust in the healthcare system became a paramount challenge. Efforts focused on transparency, accountability, and the implementation of effective measures to prevent such incidents in the future. Continuous improvements in monitoring and oversight were essential to ensure that the healthcare system could swiftly detect and address any potential misconduct. Niels Hogel's story is a harrowing example of how trust can be betrayed in the most sacred of professions. In the years following Hogel's convictions, the lessons learned from his case have continued to shape healthcare practices and policies. The emphasis on ethical training, robust oversight, and a culture of vigilance remains paramount in safeguarding patient welfare. Niels Hogel's story serves as a stark reminder of the devastating consequences of unchecked power and the vital importance of maintaining the highest standards of ethical practice in healthcare.